الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم مبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته and good morning Instagram fam friends and followers of Asafi and welcome to another installment of Revert Reflections and this week's series uh, I'm sorry and the and another installment of this week's series under the theme your shahada your pact with Allah don't break your pact with Allah mm. and my message today basically is as re, as it relates to that theme is keeping our promise to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and honoring our covenant and the pact that we have made with Allah through the shahada is easier than we think and the reason why I'm coming with this message this morning is because what I found in my experience and my interaction with others is that many Muslims step away from Islam many Muslims break their promise to Allah breach their covenant with Allah or are tempted to breach that covenant and to stop doing the Muslim thing because they are convinced that it's too difficult and too daunting of a task in general nobody can do this or it's too difficult or too daunting of a task for them and they will tell you certain things that yeah see this right here so for example being constant in prayer praying five times a day for some people they just feel like this is not realistic it's impossible you just you just can't do it or I they will say for example okay praying I, I get it but getting up for Fajr, especially in the summertime when the nights are so short and certain parts of the country when the nights are extremely short and the days are extremely long, getting up for Fajr, it's, it's impossible on time. It's impossible. I just can't do it. Dressing appropriately, especially for Muslim women, dressing appropriately, just finding suitable things to wear and then finding the courage to put those on and go out in society absorbing, facing the ridicule, the criticism of strangers, friends, and family. Because you are Muslim, because you have accepted this way of life, and constantly having to be under siege by them trying to basically convince you to leave Islam, that you made the wrong choice, etc. These are just some examples of the things that people cite and saying, see, this is just too much, it's too difficult. And there are other things that we could mention, but I just mentioned those as an example of how people justify either stepping away or considering stepping away and breaching their covenant with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So for this reason, this message, that it's easier than we think, and one thing that will help us not breach our covenant, not even think and consider breaching our covenant is if we just take a step back. If we really look at Islam in a comprehensive way, and if we do that, we will realize that keeping our covenant with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is easier than we think. It is not as hard as we make it out to be. And to illustrate this, in today's segment and tomorrow's segment, I want to mention a few Nusus, a few texts from the Quran and Hadith, which clearly show that keeping our covenant with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is simple. And these texts will demonstrate for us how simple it is, how simple Allah has made it. Allah has not made doing the Muslim thing so difficult that very few people, if any, can do it. And so the first uh, nusus, the first text I want to bring uh, or mention and cite are from the Qur'an. And there are two texts which convey a very similar message and that's why I'm going to mention them together. The first one comes from Surah Al-Baqarah, chapter 2 of the Qur'an, verse number 286. And in it Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, nafsan illa wus'aha. Allah does not place on a soul a burden greater than it can bear. The second uh, verse that I want to quote comes from Surah at taghabun which is the 64th chapter of the Quran, verse number 16, in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَاتَّقُوا مَسْتَطَعْتُمْ And fear Allah, keep your duty to Allah, keep your covenant to Allah as much 
as you're able, as much as you can in accordance with your capacity. Now, these two verses are similar in the sense that they convey certain messages to us. And I want to share those messages with you, ala ujala, briefly, quickly. The first one is that Allah is telling us in these two verses that He only asks us, He only expects us to do what we physically can. We physically and, and realistically can. And He never asks or expects us to do what we physically cannot. He does not ask us to do what we physically cannot. Now that leads to another message. That if Allah in fact asks us to do anything, that thing is within our capacity. We can do it. Because he just said, he told us in at least two places in the Quran, and actually more than that, that I will never ask you to do something that you can't do. Which means that if he does ask us to do something, we can. Now sometimes he asks to do something and we tell ourselves, I can't do that. You can. You're just underestimating yourself. In many cases, we say, I can't do something. It's not because we actually can't. It's because we underestimate ourselves. We don't see how strong we are, but Allah sees. We don't believe in ourselves, but Allah believes in us. And we need to start believing in ourselves as it relates to our spiritual growth and our spiritual relationship with Allah. We can be better. That these verses convey is that there may be situations where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asks us to do something and we can do it but we can't do all of it. We can do 70% of it. We can do 80% of it, but we actually physically cannot do the remaining portion of it or percentage of it. In those cases, Allah only expects us to do the portion, the amount, the percentage that we actually physically can. And He will absolve us of any guilt or blame for the percentage that we did not do because we physically could not. And again, that shows you how simple it is. You're looking at, oh, as a Muslim, you're supposed to do this and you're supposed to do this and you're supposed to do this. How can I do all that? I can't do all that. If you can't do it, do as much of it as you can. And Allah will accept that from you because he's not trying to make your life miserable. He's not trying to make it difficult for you to fulfill your promise. He's actually trying to make it easy. And we find support for this in another hadith with which, with which I'm going to close, inshallah. And that's the hadith collected by Imam al-Bukhari from Imran ibn Hussein, in which the Prophet ﷺ, he told him, he said, Salli qa'iman fa'illam tastati' فَقَائِدًا فَإِنْ لَمْ تَسْتَطِيعَ فَعَلَى جَنْبِ He said, O oh, Imran, pray standing, because that's how we're supposed to pray. You can't pray standing, so pray seated. And maybe you find yourself, well, even that is too difficult, then you can lie down on your side. So I just want you to reflect today, brothers and sisters, on this message. Keeping our covenant with Allah is easier than we think. We can do more, we can do better. But we have made things, we have allowed ourselves to perceive things as harder than they really are. And inshallah, we will continue on this subject when we close out tomorrow, this week's series, uh, with a few more texts from the Quran and Hadith showing us that keeping our covenant with Allah is easier than we think. Until then, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh from Team Asafi.